Welcome back. Well, the Atlantic hurricane season officially underway now, but folks on Long Island say they're ready. County executives announced some changes to help residents weather any new storm. TV 1055's Elise Finch has our story from Hop Hog. 10 to 16 tropical storms are expected to develop along the East Coast this hurricane season. The average is 12. As many as four of those storms are forecast to become major hurricanes. Long Island officials, utility companies, and first responders are letting people know what they've done to get ready. Like Suffolk County's expanded Code Red system that sends high-speed emails and text messages when storms are near. And they can sign up and they'll get immediate emergency notifications to their cell phone, to their home phone, uh, and it allows residents to be kept up to date uh, in real time. Citing lessons learned from Superstorm Sandy, Nassau County Executive Ed Mangano says residents forced to evacuate will no longer be separated from their pets. This year, we now are having cohabitating pet shelters. In other words, pet owners can stay with their pets in our pet shelter. You know, people have a certain connection with their pet. It's like being separated from your child. It's, it's terrible. A rep from power company PSE and G says it's trimmed thousands of trees, made substation improvements, and circuit upgrades to better withstand storms. Natural gas and electricity company National Grid discussed upgrades to its equipment and new mobile emergency operation centers. And the Long Island Red Cross says it has a fleet of mobile relief trailers at the ready. They are uh, split in Nassau and Suffolk County, so we can get supplies to folks who need them very quickly. The agencies represented here today say they're as prepared as they can be for this upcoming hurricane season. Now Long Island residents need to make sure they are, too. Both county executives say now is the time for people to assemble emergency go kits and establish a plan in case they get separated from their families. They want Long Island residents to be prepared, not scared. In Hopogs, Suffolk County, Elise Finch, TV 1055. And county executives say in addition to equipment and services, communication has improved dramatically since Superstorm Sandy. And up next